Hey guys, Jardo here. Um, so today we're gonna go pick up a bunch of stuff. I got my uh, spoiler plug holes to pick up for the last hole in my trunk. Um, leftover from the GSR spoiler. I gotta get um, my wink mirror. And uh, we also have a bit of a surprise thing that I kind of got in the mail today. And I'll kind of explain what it is. And um, I thought it was pretty smart workaround to the rarity of a certain part on my car. But we'll get to that in a bit. So for now we're just gonna go head on down to the mailbox and pick up some stuff. Um, so let's do it. guys so I started to uh, just got home and uh, we're starting to install the mirror um, so first thing first we have to take the old mirror off um, so the way to do that on the Integra is actually instead of trying to battle and trying to take off this plastic trim piece here all you really have to do is pull on the whole thing just pull on it oh geez don't pull on the dash cam cable though. Just pull on pull on this uh, pull on this it'll all come off there's actually a little clip plate here um, which is what holds the that little that screw there in the middle in place so then you can just take everything off take these screws off and then take the whole thing off if you want to put this uh, OEM mirror back on what you actually have to do is put the clip plate onto the screw first yeah and then take the you're gonna have to take the plastic piece off for that so you're gonna have to put the clip plate back on the screw put the brace back on and then put uh, with a whole mirror and then put the last plastic piece on so uh, I'm gonna get the rest of it done and then I'll uh, show you guys the rest Okay, so I've taken off the the bracket here um, that used to be in here. Um, other, if without this black thing, you're left with three holes in the headliner, and it looks kind of ugly. So I just put this back, and I'll just chill like that. Um, but the bracket needed to come out, otherwise it'd be rattling all over the place. Um, so now the bracket's just in the in the mirror, the mirror assembly here. Um, so the bracket's back on in here. You can take the screw off and then put it back on. So that was fairly easy, fairly straightforward. Nothing permanent as if it was attached to the windshield or something. Um, so yeah, Integra mirrors are actually really easy to work. The next step is to take these screws out and then same thing on the other side, screws over there. So those four screws, a flat head works on these and then uh, we'll be able to take the visors off. So let's do that. All right guys, so one visor is out, as you can see here with the camera adjust. So this is what's left over of the visor. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. But before I do that, I actually wanna take a look at the mirror itself and the mounting hardware and see kind of get an idea of what how it mounts up. Um, so I think the hardware is just right here. All right, just fall. Um, so this is a mounting hardware. So I'm gonna take a look at this and the actual mirror itself is in here. Um, it's kind of hard to take it out, but uh, for now I'm just going to look at the hardware and then just kind of mount things up, make sure that it works, and the uh, holes line up, and uh, yeah, we'll try it out. Alright guys, so I actually got uh, both sides up, I'll let the camera focus. Uh, so on this side, basically what you got to do is, um, I'm using the stock windshield holes um, to mount this, so I actually use the OEM bolt for here, um, and then this is its own hardware kit. Um, so basically it's just a bolt that goes through this and then a nut and a washer or a washer and a nut first um, And then this is kind of loose right now, but I haven't tightened this this nut um, So it's okay. So I did the same thing on the other side and then for now all I have to do is just put the mirror on Hopefully it uh, <laughs> So we'll give it a shot. So it took a bit of trial and error, but I finally got it on. It's pretty solid um, It's not it tilts a little bit, but that's okay. Um, I need to get a wrench to this bolt here um, but otherwise, I mean, this is this, this is tight. I mean, this side, same thing. That's tight. Uh, I, that's tight. And then uh, these are the knobs that you use to just uh, tighten it up. Um, this side wasn't 100% straight. They didn't come out 100% straight um, in terms of how the holes of these worked out with the other side. Um, but it's still pretty usable um, as long as it doesn't move while I hit speed bumps or anything or potholes or something. Should be good. So. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with this install. Oh, the tilt is from the, uh, so you can see here it's tilting, but that's actually from the bracket over there. You see the whole thing here is moving. Um, that's just going to take a, a wrench to that bolt right here. Um, should fix that. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It's looking good. I'll give you guys some first impressions on Instagram once I actually drive with it on. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. This is uh, good. I mean, I can see literally everything like i mean literally the phone's on my face right now so you guys can see what i see i mean i can see blind spots and the back and everything looks good so pretty happy with it definite upgrade over over this thing 
Uh, the only thing now is that I have nowhere to put my fuzzy dice. Where am I gonna put them? I mean, I could loop over this thing, but then they'll just start sliding and stuff. Well, I can put it on my dash cam. That's what. Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. This mirror, it's pretty good. So yeah, there's one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. Um, like I mentioned, there was a surprise part. So um, give me two seconds. So uh, this is a surprise part, and no, I'm not talking about the front strut bar or this. Um, so yeah, what I have here is my old front strut bar, and I actually, never actually put it back on since I worked on my suspension. Um, but I've actually always wanted a rear OEM type bar strut bar. Um, but those are discontinued, um, really hard to find because they were optional or something. Um, so they're really rare, and they, when they go do go on sale, they're like 250 bucks or something ridiculous like that. Um, so I found out that the actual bar itself from here to here of the front strut bar is the same as a rear strut bar. The only difference are the brackets at the ends. This is where these come in. So I've actually managed to find uh, Tagiwa Imports, shout out to them, actually make the brackets for the rear strut bar for the Integra. So now I'll be able to just mount these brackets onto the ends of this bar and I'll have myself an, a real strut bar and get rid of this junk. Um, if anybody wants to buy it, hit me up. But uh, no, it's probably, <laughs> I'll probably set this up, just sell it locally, not worth shipping out. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to get this off, I'm going to get these off, so I can put these on, so I can get this on, and uh, yeah, I'm excited, let's try it. Okay, well, bad news, the uh, the shop that did my rear shocks when I swapped in my suspension um, did a too good of a job of torquing this down, and I don't actually have my breaker bar on me, um, or a breaker bar at all for that matter, uh, so I couldn't get him with, done with this, and I don't want to ruin my tools, so we're just gonna have to wait for another time. I'm kind of kind of sad, but um, still pretty pumped. Um, so I just want to show you guys. So yeah, like I said, this kind of just goes in there, just like this bracket does, except instead of leading to a piece of crap strut bar, um, it'll actually hook on straight to to this one. So then the the other bracket comes off. And same thing on the other side, and then we'll have ourselves an OEM plus uh, rear strut bar. But yeah, that's a shame that couldn't work out. But uh, get the strut bar and uh, make sure that I can have it done uh, as soon as possible so I can get a video for you guys as well of me doing it. But yeah, that sucks. All right guys, well, that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. It sucks that we couldn't get the rear strut bar on. Um, I need to borrow a breaker bar from my friend who lent it to me the first time I needed one when I worked on my front suspension. Um, so I need to get a breaker bar, get those off, and get those bolts off so I can get the uh, get the new strut bar in. I'm really excited. Um, it's basically OEM. The brackets are steel. It's it's perfect. It's going to be basically a brand new rear OEM type bar strut bar. Um, like I said, they're hard to find. I, I've been looking for months, and um, every time something pops up, it's from like Great Britain for like 230 pounds plus $80 shipping. And I'm just like, mm, probably not. <laughs> not. Not for me, so I looked into alternatives and I've just stumbled across uh, Tagiwa Imports. Um, turns out that they actually sell the brackets. Um, they make it themselves, I think. Um, so yeah, really excited. Hopefully we get that on. Um, mud guards as well. I got the clips. I don't have them here, but finally got the clips. Um, my only last issue is that there's a, the, the innermost hole. Um, it doesn't use a clip because it's uh, further away from the edge of the wall. Um, it's actually, um, I think I think it's supposed to be some sort of square thing that you put it in the hole and then you screw in there. Um, I, I can't find the part number, I can't source it, so what I'm just going to end up doing is just zip tying it. Um, it's actually possible to zip tie it um, from that hole, so I'm going to do that instead and uh, just, just finally get those on. Other than that, um, stuff coming up, I got to do my dash lighting, I got the LED bulbs for my dash cluster here. I'm going to change the uh, lighting to be kind of like an amber red, um, similar to the Type R OEM lights. So I'm going to try and do that really quickly. It's, it's actually pretty easy. Um, just a few screws and you just get to the cluster and then you just pop out the bulb with the new one in. So hopefully get that going. As well, I'm ranting on now, so I'm just going to end this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you hit that like button, if you like what you see, please subscribe. Lots of content coming up. Appreciate all the support. Follow me on Instagram. It'll pop up somewhere here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.